I'm Quinn Hogue and I'm a journalism student at Carleton University and this vlog is going to be about how to manage your day-to-day -day tasks and assignments whether you're balancing schoolwork and regular work or if you're just having trouble doing um, handling all your assignments that you're getting in because obviously virtual school seem a lot more like it seems a lot harder than it was when you were in class and I know the school is dealing with that right now and a lot of profs are changing it but if you're still having trouble balancing out your schoolwork um, I'm hoping that some of the tips and tricks that I do will help you. So my first tip is get a calendar. I have a big calendar on my wall that sits in front of my desk and it tells me when all my classes are, what my work schedule is, and what extracurricular things I have going on like doctor's appointments and stuff. Um, I don't put my assignments up there because I feel like it gets too cluttered and then I get overwhelmed because I'm trying to see everything that's going on. I want to see everything I have to do in my week and if I'm looking at both things I have to do for work and things I have to do for school on the same calendar as well as all these other appointments that I have, I get really overwhelmed. So something that I do is I write all my assignments for the whole year, sorry not the whole year, for the whole semester on a piece of paper and I put it right beside my calendar. So if I'm looking be like what do I have to do this week, I look to the side and I can see every assignment that I have to do for the rest of the semester and when I finish something I check it off. Um, another thing that I do is I have a whiteboard and I got it this year and I have to say it has helped me so much. So instead of looking at that massive assignment list that I have beside my calendar, I use that massive assignment list to help me write down the things that I have to do for one week. So every Sunday I check out my assignment list and I write down all the assignments that I have to do for the week. That way you don't get overwhelmed, you're not looking at two weeks, three weeks, you're like oh I have this really big assignment due in a few weeks. You're only dealing with the things that you have to do this week and I find that really helps with managing and trying to deal with all the stress that's added on top of it by just dealing with one thing at a time. So at the top of my whiteboard I put my assignment that's due first. Sometimes if I have a really really big assignment that I know is going to take up a lot more time than smaller assignments I will put that at the top too because if it's like a big 5,000 word essay and it's worth 45% of my Great. Obviously, I'm going to work a lot more on that assignment, and so I put it to the top. But normally, if I don't have one of those, I just put the assignment that's due first at the top, and then I just work my way down. Um, also on my whiteboard, I have two jobs, um, both from home, and so I will split those up too on the other side of the whiteboard. I'll have work that I do at the top for social media, and then at the bottom, I have my work-study job, which is what I'm doing right now. And because I'm able to split it up, I find it's easier to remember the things that I need to do. So Tuesdays and Thursdays I work. I only focus on those things that I have to do. I have a list of everything I have to do by the end of the week or in the next two weeks. And it makes it easier for me to focus while I'm at work. Because obviously you're at home, you're doing school at home, probably doing work at home. It's hard, you don't, you're not leaving your house, so everything is in the same space, and it's really hard to separate it sometimes, because I'll find I'm at work, and I look up at my whiteboard, and I'm like, wow, a whole lot of the class assignments do, but then I'll look at my what I have to do for my work-study position, and I'm like, obviously, I need to be focused only at work, because I have these things do, and I'm working, so I can't be switching, so yeah, so those are the things that I do. So and when it comes to maintaining and balancing out your life, it's really important to also balance out your self-care. So something that I do when I get up, I get up and I make my bed. That is my act of self-care because I finished something. From the moment that I wake up and I get out of bed, I have completed a task. And that makes myself feel better if at the end of the day I don't have anything else checked off because I've just been working on so many things. Knowing that, in my mind, I have already checked off the make your bed assignment, it makes me feel better because I've accomplished one thing. So I feel like a lot of people get really caught up in finishing their entire list. They think, I have 10 things, I need to check off 10 things for today or for this week, or I need to finish everything on my list. 
and that's why I feel like having one thing that you know every day you are going to check off, like for me it was making my bed, it really helps you because you feel less productive if you haven't finished everything on your list and that's something, that's a mindset that a lot of people need to get out of because just because you haven't checked off anything on your list for the day doesn't mean you are a failure. But if you feel like you do need to check something off in order to feel good about yourself, you can do one thing in the morning, exercise, drink a cup of coffee, eat breakfast, make your bed, something that you know you're going to do. And again, with listening to your body, it's really, really important that you take breaks throughout the day. If you have a long day of classes, a long day of work, and you're sitting at your desk all day, take a break. Middle of the day, you're getting a little frazzled. You want to take a break to go do something, stay active, go for a walk. These are all, again, self-care things that you could be doing, but also help you stay productive. Because you could be sitting staring at an essay or an assignment for an hour and you have nowhere to go from there. You don't know what to do. A good way to reset your brain, pretty much, is to leave. Step away from the desk, go and do something else, something that helps you relax. It makes it so that you don't get burnt out by how many assignments that you're doing in a day, how many, how much work you're doing. You're able to take a break and really take care of yourself that way. So that's all I had to say for today and I hope that everyone is staying safe, being kind to one another, kind to themselves, um, staying productive, staying on top of all their schoolwork, and I hope that this helps you with your day-to-day -day life.